Dean, the question of multiple universes is really a core of modern cosmology, which most theories seem to say that in order to explain the current universe, almost by force, we have to assume multiple universes with inflation theory, etc. This has been used in theological circles as a way to combat the so-called fine-tuning problem, that if we are so surprised to see our universe so, so finely tuned, if there's an infinite number of universes, it's not so surprising, because some place had to, had to be like what we are, and that's the only place that you could ask the question. Let's step back from all of that and, and look at the question of multiple universes in a theistic setting that I want to put you in. And, and ask the question, does it make sense for God to have created multiple universes of different kinds of characters? God certainly may have created multiple universes, for all we know. I, I don't see any reason to think that um, God's creativity would stop with, with our universe. I mean, we are astonished by the size of it and uh, the, the length of it and the fact that it seems to be going to going on in principle uh, forever, uh, that astonishes us, but God's not astonished by that size, and uh, there certainly uh, could be worlds of which we know nothing. So I, I think discovering, if this is what we discover, uh, uh, that there's reason to believe in multiple universes, that shouldn't surprise the theist. We already know that we're sort of uh, uh, a tiny planet in a backwater mm. of, the, uh, of just one galaxy in this gigantic place. Maybe the place is more uh, uh, gigantic than, than we could have imagined. Okay, so what, what are the implications of that? Uh, uh, because there are different kinds of multiple universes. There's yes. a bubble um, uh, universes that uh, kind of uh, nucleate off from each other and expand exponentially with maybe different laws of physics. There's the so-called uh, Everton uh, multi uh, uh, worlds of quantum physics where at every quantum moment, uh, Planck moment, there's branching off and there's enormous branching of all the different possibilities. Uh, or from a theistic point of view, is there any distinguishing characteristics between different kinds of multiple universes? Different reasons to believe in multiple universes uh, generate different kinds of multiple universes. Some of them do raise problems, I think, for supposing that there's a perfectly good God. So on, on conceptions of the multiverse where either because of quantum uh, branching or because of uh, infinite inflation, infinite generation of, of universes of all types. Um, if, you, if, you've, if you've got reason to think that there are worlds that consist of nothing but uh, creatures hopelessly in pain for their entire lives, miserable and, you know, if, if there's reason to believe in lots and lots of those and you think, well, uh, a God that was good uh, would never allow that to happen, then reason to believe in these kinds of universes provides you a reason to think that there isn't such a God. So I think actually that kind of multiverse raises a, a sort of problem. Well, uh, multiverses by almost their fundamental character are infinite, effectively infinite, and therefore in an infinity, there is an infinity of every different kind of thing. And so the nature of infinity says there is an, an, an infinity of worlds of every characteristic you can think of. Worlds that there are, there's never evil, and worlds that there's all evil, and every gradation in between. So isn't the natural conclusion then, if there, if there is, isn't the conclusion then that if reality is in fact an infinity of multiple universes, whatever the generating mechanism, then you can't have God as part of that if God is all good. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying that if the theory predicts an infinity of universes, which includes ones of the kind you described. It wouldn't exclude or, anything if it's, if it's randomly generated. If it's randomly generated, you have every, everything of everything. But you can have infinities 
that aren't randomly generated. You can have infinities right. that 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 are selective. Right. Yeah, so so you, you have to impose some sort of an external mechanism. So if you have God, God can say, "Okay, I'm going to have all these infinity of universes, but I'm going to, you know, kind of structure it in a way that it, it avoids certain ones." You, you you have to you have to assume that, right? Yes, I think you do. Well, if you do, I mean, that, that's a dramatic imposition on, on current cosmological theories or, or uh, quantum theories. Well, it is unless you already suppose that with any universe, uh, God may be at work within it. God may be guiding it. Mm -hmm. God may be uh, settling things that physically are unsettled. Mm -hmm. um, in that case, uh, God's participation in every one of these universes uh, might prevent these, or, you know, the worst things from happening. Every universe might be then a universe which is creatable, which is attributable to such a God. Now, this requires uh, an interventionist deity, uh -huh. one who plays a role. Right. As opposed to the, the uh, concept that God created the mechanism for all these universes. And then sat back. And then sat back, and then just let it all happen. You, you, your God would have to either at the beginning, you know, play with the dials of that mechanism to, to, to assure that the infinite universes only had certain character, or in each one of them to play little games in each one to intervene and send them all in the right direction. One or the other you'd have to have, correct? I guess I'm willing to accept that. <laughs> Neither one sounded all that great the way you described them. Deliberately so. But uh, uh, God uh, uh, playing a role in the direction of a universe uh, needn't be seen as, as, as playing games with it. Um, I think if God is sustaining the whole thing in existence, um, why suppose that God can't play a role in altering the trajectory of it.